Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. So I'm sure you guys are all well aware of so much talk about climate change and did they cause the Canadian wildfires, the record extreme wildfires that we had in Canada. They were, according to the mainstream, you, you see, fueled by climate change. Uh, NBC, climate change made record-setting Canada wildfires likelier, so say scientists. Weather that drove eastern Canada's devastating wildfires made twice as likely by climate change. Our planet is feeling the impacts of a warming world. A busy Atlantic hurricane season, low Arctic and Antarctic sea ice, raging wildfires in Canada. This is from NASA. Then what do we get? We get the man who said the wildfires were a government conspiracy pleads guilty to setting 14 fires. This is the man. You know, feel again, feel into his energy. Feel into his energy. Uh, this is Brian Velo. I guess that's how you would say it. I'm not really good with French. And they're blaming him. They say that he has, as you can see, some of his Facebook page here, pleaded guilty. Now we see this August 26, 2023. This is happening in Canada. Polls when I say climate change doesn't exist, but being invented, manufactured by our governments and the elite of the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, and the OMS for their 2030 New World Order. Uh, again, I think French is his uh, number one language too, but he could be just kind of using a translator too. So, you know, just looking through his posts and stuff, you know, what was I hit with? He's, well, he loves trucks. Uh, he's, he's reporting on, you know, accidents and things like that. And talks about multiple times the fires being lit voluntarily. And now he was blaming it on the government lighting fires. So what do we have? <laughs> we have the government blaming him for the wildfires. And honestly, if, if I just have to say, what do I feel? I feel he's being framed. Now, whether he did or didn't, we don't know. But it does just feel very, very much like he is being framed. And so here you have Brian Paré, a man from Quebec, who posted conspiracy theories online about government-set forest fires, has pleaded guilty to starting a series of fires himself. He pleaded guilty of 13 counts of arson and a count of arson with disregard to human life. Two of the fires he set forced the evacuation of around 500 homes in Ch Chapais, Quebec. According to the prosecutor, the largest fire at Lake Carvan burned almost 873 hectares of forest. And it goes on to list these fires um, that you know he is definitely being blame for again you could see his tweets too uh, up on x twitter as you see uh this saying brian Pare is the climate change denier who set the fires then claimed the government did it to promote climate change this one says please people read a bit before spreading lies otherwise there'll be never ever never be any resolution to anything um yeah, I think you, you have to read a little bit, but you have to recognize who you're reading. And again, we, we've talked about, and it's just reality, that so many government-funded studies, the key word there is funded. Who is paying for it? Well, ultimately, taxpayers are paying for it if it is government-funded. But what is the agenda? And we, we were just talking about the fact that two-thirds of Congress is taking money from the big pharma. So... You know, what is really going on? This says Brian Pere has no links with QS, nor has he ever offered part of partisan or member support to QS, but its pages and funding to the conservative are linked to its shares and knowledge. You know, you have to question everything in these times. And this, of course, gets me thinking about past times, because there's been a lot of people in past ages that admitted to, say, being a witch, you know, they admitted to it. 
they admit it to being a witch. But before we go there, when you look at everything that's been thrown out to us, the last eight years have been the warmest on record. Have they? Because so often we get numbers that get revised later on. And then again, who is... Who is giving you this data from what surveys, from what studies that were done? Who is giving you the data? Well, you know, they all tie in together, just like the food industry and Big Pharma tie in together. This is all part of one system that we see. And when we look at the bigger scale of things, even just taking the data that they've given us themselves, as you look over thousands of years, what do you see? Do you see a straight line anywhere? No, it, 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 it's all hills and valleys and cliffs. The, in other words, the climate is always changing. It's always changing. And as we can see, are we burning up? Are we going to all melt? Well, we're over in here. Wait a minute. This is a lot higher than that is. Yeah, because... We're in an interglacial. We technically are still in a uh, ice age. We're in a brief warming period in an ice age. Ice age is not going to give you the most optimal conditions uh, for life it, it, from just what this particular lay person has studied. As well, one of the things we could look to and, and see that there seem to be greater biodiversity in the far past, there also seemed to be much more abundant life. The life was bigger. And, you know, again, what are they selling us? Well, it, we know it is sales. Now, getting back to the witches. Again, this was a reality in which the system was all about just exerting its control. Anybody with any sort of Conflicting ideas, conflicting knowledge, maybe, you know, abundant knowledge of herbs. And also of how to use intent, because we are living in a matrix that responds to intent. And we understand this through different, well, different experiments that were done in quantum physics. Our observation and our will, our intent is very, very powerful, and it does affect reality. As we were just talking to uh, one of our regular uh, energy workers, a Qigong practitioner, and hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Much love, and she was just saying how we know that we can change the qualities of water through our intent. It's been proven, and it is real. So, again, there's a reason why you bless your food, you bless your drink before you imbibe it. Now, the system wants you to rely on the system. And this system, again, is really the same system that's been around for thousands of years. It's morphed, it's changed. But whether they are dunking the witch or dunking the climate change denier uh, or the anti ouchy denier you know it goes on and on the inquisition is real it happened the salem witch trials happened you know were there a whole bunch of people that were actually cavorting with the devil well the ones cavorting with satan are the ones in the system that are controlling the political structure today because satan just means the adversary and the adversary to humanity and the planet is the power structure that's in place People really did die, which is really were dunked to death. And then they would be like, well, she sank. She didn't float. Uh, I guess she wasn't a witch. Oh, sorry. Our bad. Our mistake. We're sorry. I guess you just can't win them all. But no, I mean, it, it, you can even pare it down to critical thinking. I mean, anybody who has the ability to do a form of critical thinking is is going to get watched because the system must have you believe what they want you to believe and and if you go off on your own and learn how to utilize your feelings and this is what mike and i teach we teach people to think for themselves go ahead read that book but what do you feel about it what do you see between those lines 
they don't like us teaching people that they don't like us teaching people that they can heal ourselves you know you can have energy work done turn around and have blood work done and those blood work numbers are going to be different they are going to be better you are going to be much better off after an energy healing session they don't like people to know this because that takes so much power out of their hands especially if we were able to understand it and do it in mass that's scary absolutely you know they they want you thinking the earth is is flat because you know it was something you would be put to death for if you said the earth was round back in this time you you would be executed many were absolutely you know again here is you know depiction again of the papal authority torturing people to death and and this is again part of the system when you hear about you know christians being persecuted the reality is orthodox christianity through the church and, and others has done a vast amount of persecuting and getting people to stay in line the cruelties of the inquisition all in the name of god oh no no it's in the name of power it's in the name of control it's in the name of orthodoxy and and it's in the name of basically conforming conform to the reality that they want to give you and you better conform and nothing really has changed it, it is really still the same thing in place how the cia's secret torture program sparked a citizen led public reckoning in north carolina yeah a absolutely you know the the, the the governments today still torture people we, we understand that there there are programs in all the major governments that do this they they will torture people just like uh the papacy did in the past not only that as you see the cia's secret quest for mind control torture lsd and a poisoner in chief poisoner in chief oh absolutely the CIA has done mind control experiments, you know, going well back to its to its origin, really. MK Ultra is a reality. They've they've done atrocious things. And it, again, we'll find the same with the KGB, we'll find the same with the OSS, we'll find the same with the SS. We'll find the same uh with China and Japan. You know, ballistics tests were done routinely and randomly on prisoners of war where they would test a new bullet just to see how effective it was and then remove it and look at the wounds while the person was totally alive and totally able to feel the pain this this is exactly what the truly satanic system has always done and it hasn't changed it hasn't changed the cia's appalling human experiments with mind control absolutely and you think back to uh, how it was a recommendation that might be given by your medical professional that you go ahead and get a frontal lobotomy to take care of your issues we kid you not whether it's putting leeches on and bleeding somebody out or full frontal lobotomies you know this is what the system has recommended and then later on it'll be like well okay maybe that wasn't a good idea and we're going to find they're going to do the same thing with a certain thing that started in, you know, 2020. You know where we're going with that. This is what the system does. The system is not for you. It's not for me. And the system's all about keeping the control in, in the hands of the few. Inside DARPA, the Pentagon agency whose technology has changed the world, yes. And, you know, are they happy with the amount of control that they have now uh no they want more because they recognize we're waking up there is an awakening going on that can't be stopped as i don't know what that was but that was probably one of the one of the feds or somebody popping over uh anyway you know there is an awakening happening that they know can't be stopped so they want to get you to voluntarily go along with the system but there is going to be the biggest happy dance you've ever seen in your life from those that have not gone along with the system. And, you know, right now, I mean, all those that decided not to do something when the majority of the world did something. 
you know, and yeah, there's a lot of us that have done the happy dance, but we, we really have to wait for that full fledged happy dance until everybody has a chance to awaken. And, and, you know, again, you want to keep pulling them out from the muck and the mire. And when people are really stuck in certain mindsets and, and they can't let go of that, whether it's the left or right diatribe or, hey, there's only one way, it's the cross. Uh, which cross? You know, which cross? I mean, you mean the Sumerian one that the Anunnaki are wearing? There's many different crosses. And until everyone is able to ask themselves that question honestly and look at it without the cognitive dissonance, we have work to do. We definitely have work to do because we are free beings. We are sovereign. We are very, very special. And the control matrix is getting very afraid because people are waking up and they cannot stop it. No. So have compassion uh, always. And understand, again, so much of this is mind control of different levels. And it could be what you might say is a real subtle general uh, general type of mind control, just that, rah, rah, got to be patriotic, or, you know, hey, we always voted Democrat, or we always voted Republican, we got to keep doing that. It's your duty to serve. Who are you really serving? And, and what purpose are you really serving in being patriotic? Be patriotic for life in general. And, you know, I start thinking about things not in terms of Darwinian evolution or it's survival of the fittest. Recognize, you know, we can all not only survive, but thrive if we started to actually work together. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.